video I'm going to share with you guys how to go live using StreamYard as well as how to share your screen using StreamYard. So let's get started everyone. If you don't already have a StreamYard account, simply go to Google, type in StreamYard. It's usually the first option. You click on it and create an account using your email. If you already have an account, simply log into your account and they will send you a six digit code for you to log in. Once you log in, it will take you to this screen right here. And once you get to this screen, you have to select your destinations if you don't have them already preset. So let me click on destination. And you, as you can see, I have currently one destination selected and that destination is YouTube. If I wanted to add more destinations, I would click destinations and these are the options here for me to choose. I can stream to Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile. You can also stream to LinkedIn page profile as well as uh, YouTube, Periscope, Twitch. And of course it says down here, don't see your platform, choose a custom RTMP. Okay, so once you select your destination, you're going to go back over and click on broadcast and here is where we are going to create our broadcast. So we are going to enter broadcast. We're going to click on the plus sign and then here again is where you're going to select the destination where you want to stream to. So I'm going to select the destination which will be my YouTube channel. And then I'm going to have to select my email and then I'm going to hit next. All right, so now we are here. We have to create our broadcast. We have to give our broadcast a title. Okay, so for this, we are just going to, let me focus this camera a little bit. Sorry, you guys. We're going to, let's do testing or test. So test and then description, let's just type testing. All right, so this is for tutorial purposes. And then once you title and put a description you can select if you're going to make this public or if you're going to unlist it and publish it later or if you're going to make it private because you wanted to uh, you want to send it to uh, an individual person via email all right so we are going to make this private okay and you also have the option right here to schedule it for later all right so if you wanted to schedule it for later you would uh, click on schedule for later and you would select let me scroll down you can select the date time <clears throat> you can schedule it for later on the same day or the next day you have the option to schedule it for later we are going to unclick all right so once you're done with that, then you're going to simply hit create broadcast. And now we are entering the broadcast studio. Okay, so now we are in the broadcast studio. As you can see, I have my webcam selected. I am in the screen. You see my cute teddy bear? So I have my webcam selected here, and this is what I'm streaming, okay? Now, if you were in the stream, of course, it will show your face. I chose to put my teddy bear as the spotlight, so I'm not in the screen, but it will be the same thing if the camera was on me. Simply put the camera on you, and the camera will be focused on you, okay? 
All right, so in it, uh, if you wanted to stop webcam, of course, you would hit stop. If you wanted to mute, like if during your live stream, you wanted to step away for some reason, or you got a phone call, you wanted to speak to family members, simply mute. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and unmute and put our webcam back on, okay? So once you get here, now you have to create also a display name to show once you go live. So of course, we are doing a tutorial, so I have testing here, but you would put whatever your topic of the day is, you would put it under the display name because that will show up when you go live. That will be the title that draws your uh, followers in. So you want to make sure you title it correctly to get people's attention, okay? So once we create the display name, we are going to enter Broadcast Studio. All right, so now we are in the broadcast studio and this is what it looked like all right over here you have your chat okay this is your go live button and of course it says here you are not part of the stream click to add your audio and a video so if you do not add yourself to the stream Others will not be able to see you on your destination platform. So to add yourself in the stream, you have to click here, click this plus sign. So now as you can see, I am in the stream. So when you go live, everyone can see you now because you are in the stream. Okay, so like before, if you're, let's go out so you can see, it will alert you and let you know that your audio was also removed because you remove yourself from the screen. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close that out and add ourselves back to the stream. So now we are in the stream. Okay, so and if you wanted to invite a guest, you see the different display options you have here, you can go based on how many guests you have, or you can do full screen, which is this screen right here, okay? And also you have your buttons down here. Like I said, if you wanted to mute for a few moments, you have the option to mute. You can share your screen. So let me go ahead and show you how to share your screen. So to share your screen, simply hit share then you're gonna hit share again all right and now you have to select where you want to share or what you want to share from what application window so I'm going to go ahead and click on application window or you can select Chrome uh, window to share so let's hit on application window so for application window I'm going to go ahead and go to my YouTube channel. All right, so I have my YouTube channel here. Okay. So let's go back to StreamYard. As you can see, we're going to click on application window, and then you're going to select what you want to share. All right and then you're going to hit share. I'm sorry, I have that on my Chrome tab. Sorry about that, you guys. That uh, my YouTube channel is under my the uh, Chrome tab, not the application window. So here, let's go ahead and select it now, okay? All right, so we're going to select my YouTube channel and we're going to hit share. All right, as you can see, I am sharing my YouTube channel. 
look here at the top where it says here share this tab uh, to stream sharing I'm sorry sharing this tab to streamyard.com and it have the stop sign uh, stop here icon so if I wanted to stop sharing my YouTube channel I would simply simply hit stop right here so we are sharing and let's go back to StreamYard and you can see from here from StreamYard this is how it looks it shows that I have my YouTube channel screen up so I'm currently sharing my YouTube channel to my YouTube followers okay and like I said if you wanted to stop sharing simply hit stop screen and you will stop sharing to your destination okay you guys let's go back here and hit stop all right and as you can see we are back live on um on my teddy bear which would be you you would be back to yourself once you stop sharing it will take you back to yourself and of course over here is where you would have your chats so when you go live okay we are not going to go live because this is for tutorial purposes but once you got uh, have everything set up everything is good you're in the screen you're not muted your camera is on all you would do is simply hit go live and you will be live since we have it in private let's go ahead and hit go live okay so go live all right and as you can see it says here we are live we are currently live streaming on YouTube everyone okay again share your screen if you wanted to share your screen or if you wanted to invite a guest you have the option so let's go ahead and go over share your screen again share screen select which application window if you have something on here you share your um, this window or your Chrome tab for me I have Chrome you select whatever you have open so you have to have your app your applications open that you want to share okay beforehand and then you just select them so we select and we are sharing my YouTube channel on to our YouTube followers okay and we simply hit stop all right go back to StreamYard and we are no longer streaming you guys okay let's see what else here do we have any other features of course you have your comments when you're commenting it will show up also on your screen here whoever is typing they will show up here okay and here's where you kick I'm sorry click the invite so you would click this if you wanted to invite someone to the stream and you will copy this link you would hit copy link all right and once you copy that link you will place that in your chat okay you would place it here place it in your chat okay and whoever wants to come live will simply click on that link and it will bring them up on the screen with you okay and depending on how many people you have joined you have the different options to choose how you want it to be displayed on the screen okay and like I said to take yourself out hit simply hit and that will remove you from the live okay 
So we are going to go ahead and stop the live stream. So you simply hit end broadcast. It's going to ask you, do you want to end the broadcast now? You're going to hit yes and broadcast. And it's going to ask you, how was your stream? All right. You can answer or close it out. And you're done. You're done sharing your screen. You're done doing your live. And you are finished for the day. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future uploads. This channel is all about nature, inspirational, motivational messages, as well as sharing our knowledge with each other to help each other grow and improve. So until next time, you guys, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.